Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into important repository interfaces, its relationships, and its implementations. All right. So before looking into repository interfaces, let's first take a look into Spring Data Framework. Well, Spring Data Framework basically contains a lot of modules. For instance, Spring Data Commons, Spring Data LDAP, Spring Data MongoDB, Spring Data JPA, Spring Data JDBC, and there are a lot of other Spring Data modules. And if you look at the hierarchy over here, Spring Data Commons is the parent project and the other projects like Spring Data LDAP, Spring Data MongoDB, Spring Data JPA, Spring Data JDBC. So these models basically extend Spring Data Commons. All right. So Spring Data Commons is basically contains all the common interfaces and classes and the other models like Spring Data LDAP, Spring Data MongoDB, Spring Data JPA, Spring Data JDBC. So these models basically extends Spring Data Commons you know interfaces okay so just remember spring data commons is the separate project and it is basically a parent project it contains all the common interfaces and the other you know modules basically extends spring data commons interfaces okay and these spring data projects have their own purposes for instance spring data ldap it basically supports ldap implementation spring data mongodb it supports mongodb based you know DAO layer. Spring Data JP8 basically supports JPA related DAO layers and Spring Data JDBC basically supports JDBC related DAO layer. Right. So each project have their own purpose. And in this course, we'll be more focusing on Spring Data JPA. It basically support for JPA based data access layers. Well, once we understood Spring Data Framework modules and its hierarchy, let's go back to our repository interfaces class diagram over here. And if you look at the class diagram, repository interface is basically a root interface and crude repository interface extends repository interface, paging and sorting repository interface extends crude repository interface and query DSL predicate executor. So this interface is, is basically independent of these interfaces. All right. And these four interfaces are belongs to spring data commons module. And you can see here JPA repository interface and JPA specification executor interface. So these two interfaces are belongs to Spring Data JPA module. And as we know that Spring Data JPA module, it extends Spring Data Commons module. So if you can see the interfaces, JPA repository interface from Spring Data JPA module extends paging and sorting repository interface of Spring Data Commons module. All right, this is how the repository interfaces hierarchy looks like. JPA repository interface internally extends paging and sorting repository interface, paging and sorting repository interface internally extends crude repository interface and crude repository interface internally extends repository interface. All right. So this is how the repository interfaces relationships, you know, looks like. Well, in this course, we'll be more focusing on JPA repository interface. So let's go ahead and let's learn more about JPA repository interface. Well, JPA repository interface, you can see here, it extends paging and sorting repository interface and paging and sorting repository, it internally extends code repository interface and code repository interface internally extends a repository interface. And code repository interface basically provides a crude methods. For example, save, save all, find by D, find all, delete by D, delete. All right, so these are the crude methods that crude interface basically exposes. And paging and sorting repository interface, it provides a support for paging and sorting. All right. So basically these two methods supports sorting and pagination. Apart from that, JPA repository interface also exposes few of the methods which supports batch operations and other operations. For example, find by ID, find all with sort as a method argument, flush, save and flush, delete in batch, delete all in batch. Okay. Save all. So these are the few methods that JPA repository interface also exposes. Well, in order to leverage all these methods, we simply create our own interface, for example, product repository interface and extends JPA repository interface. And we need to simply pass entity name and the primary key type. That's it. Once we do this, we'll be able to leverage all these methods, right? This is awesome, right? We just have to create one interface and it extends JPA repository interface and just pass entity name and the primary key type. That's it. We'll be able to leverage all these methods. 
we don't have to write any code i mean we don't have to write you know implementation class to implement this interface and a repository interface and its methods okay spring data jpi internally provides implementation for all these methods we don't have to write any code we just simply need to create the interface and extends jpi repository interface that's it we'll be able to get all these methods for entity in this case product is the jpi entity all right now you may have a question like so far we have seen the repository interfaces and its methods and where's the implementation who will be able to implement all these repository interfaces and its methods right so basically spring data jp is responsible to implement all these methods basically spring data jp provides simple jp repository class it implements all these important methods okay for example look at here jp repository implementation well spring data jp internally provides simple jp repository class which implements all the methods of jp repository interface okay just remember spring data jp provides simple jp repository class it is basically a default implementation class of jp repository interface and simple jp repository class it provides a transaction management for all its implementation methods right it means that all the methods of jp repository interfaces are by default transactional we don't have to make these methods again transactional for example you can see simple jp repository class it is annotated with at transactional annotation it means that all the methods in a simple jp repository class are by default transactional we don't have to again annotate these methods with at transactional annotation all right well in next lecture we'll deep dive into spring data jp library and we'll understand these repository interfaces and its implementation classes all right i will see you in next lecture